free iTunes account. Free meaning that you don't need to enter a credit card number. I don't know, for whatever reason, you don't have a credit card or your parents don't want to let you enter there. Something like that. Now, when I say free, I mean that um, you're going to be, a, you don't need to enter a credit card. It doesn't mean that you're going to be able to buy stuff that costs money. Um, you can only get free stuff. However, you can enter an iTunes gift card code and be able to get stuff with your iTunes gift card and it'll work perfectly. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you're signed out of your account if you have a, uh, another account or something like that. Uh, next thing you're going to need to do, or before I do that actually, I'm going to bring this up right here. Um, whoops. Sorry, I keep doing the same thing here. Ah, there we go. I got it. I'm running iTunes 9 on Snow Leopard on a Mac 9.1. Just to let you know that, um, so you can try to troubleshoot yourself if this doesn't work for you. So again, make sure you're signed out. Go up to your search bar and type in free apps. Just like that. And you should get a little box right here that says iPhone apps. Go into it and there should be some like, there's going to be random apps up here. and But some of them might actually cost money. So make sure you find a free one. I'll use this one right here. And then you click on where it says free. And it'll ask you to sign in to download from the iTunes store. Click create new account. It is very important that you go through and type in free apps and click on a free app first. This just says it's welcoming you to the iTunes store. Click continue. Alright. Uh, you have to check this box right here. And continue. And then I panned away from the screen because my actual email address was up there. But now I'm back. Uh, that's the only reason I went to the white portion of the screen. So just letting you know that. And a, a re this has to be a real email address. So, enter a real email address, and it can be an email address that's also signed, that's already signed up with an iTunes account. Uh, enter a password that you want to log into iTunes with. There we go, and make a question that you know the answer. To. This is in case you ever forget your password. Okay, it doesn't really matter what birthday you put, just do something random. And now check off these. This is going to be different for everybody. Check off what you want. I don't want either of these. It's just email updates about Apple. Go through and you'll see the credit card and billing address, all that stuff. You're going to want to go through. You have Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, PayPal, and None. Now you're going to obviously want to click None. But if you don't go through the free app process and this isn't coming up, if the none option isn't coming up, it's probably because you didn't go through the process right where you need to go through the uh, free apps and click free and hit continue. I mean, create no account, so click none. Wait a minute, and the credit card box should go away. If you have an iTunes code, you can put that in. If not, you don't need to. You can always do it later as well. And I'll show you how to do that at the very end of this video, how to enter a code after. So just type in anything. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just put a really obvious address. I mean, it doesn't have to be a real address. You're not really mailing you anything. Put a popular city such as Las Vegas. And I'll show you why in a second. Zip code leave blank for now, um, and phone number, put a three digits first, this is just a random phone number, um, and then seven digits in the second box, and again, I'm just hitting random buttons. Now, zip code, I put Las Vegas, Nevada as my city, so now, actually, what I need to do 
is go into Safari or any internet browser. Go into Google and search Las Vegas, Nevada zip code list. So you're going to search whatever city you put is the city you're going to need to go to. Choose any random one. I'll do 89115. reason you need that is because iTunes will not accept a fake zip code. It's not really meant for your city. There you go. So it said, we have sent an email to e4i demo at yahoo.com. Perfect. Now you're going to need to go check your inbox. So let's head, head over to the internet again. Check our mail, and here we go. iTunes store account verification. If you click on it, um, go into it, and it says it's been uh, pretty much all you need to do is it says it's been created. All you need to do is click this link right here. It'll say one moment, please. Blah blah blah. Who cares? And now this is where you need to just sign into what um, you just made. So if for I demo at yahoo.com and type in the password that you created and you should be able to sign in yep there you go I'm signed in let it load and then it'll say you can view tutorials if you never used iPhone I mean iTunes before there you go now you can get stuff you can download stuff and everything uh, just in case you want to know, to enter an iTunes gift card so you can actually get stuff that costs money, you still won't need to enter a credit card number. You just need an iTunes gift card. And click on Redeem right here under Click Links. And it'll tell you like all these terms and conditions. Pretty much you just scratch off the code on the back of the card, or if you printed it online, you can just type the code right in here. So it'll be like a long code enter it in click redeem and obviously that's not a valid one because I just put a bunch of X's in but yeah that's how you do it so yeah that's how to make a free iTunes account on iTunes so yeah check out our other videos and subscribe see ya